The National has released half a dozen albums, toured the world, and just played Saturday Night Live. When the brother of the lead singer brought a camcorder along on the band's tour, he didn't end up with a typical rock doc. Mistaken for Strangers is a raw and funny portrait of family relationships, ambition, and failure. Let's take a look at a clip. Have you done the uh, towels? Yes, I got all those ready for Water you. Water bucket? Yep. Water bottles? Yep. Everything's cool? Everything's cool. Brandy for Tom. I need towels and water bottles. Tom, I thought you did this. Brandon's yelled at me earlier. I know, he, I know he's got to be stressed. Why did he yell at you? For doing this, for just, for just filming. I feel like, I feel like the only reason why he thinks I'm on tour is because I'm your brother. Here, here's the truth. The only reason you are here is because you you strike me as the type of band that, in making a movie about your band, you'd rather something that explores themes that you talk about in the music rather than something that just shoots you live on stage and falling asleep backstage. Yeah, I mean, we don't, we didn't need a portrait of a band on tour sort of thing because I don't even know. You're not uh, Motley Crue. Nope, we're not no, Motley, Motley Crue. Crue. That's what you wanted, though. You wanted Motley Crue. Well, I wanted, not maybe not not Motley Crue, but maybe like Slayer or Iron Maiden <laughs> or something like that. You know, it's totally different. Yeah. 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 You wanted to be partying in the limo with topless women hanging out of the sunroof. Women, any women in general. We probably. do that. <laughs> we do that. Yeah. No, um, we don't do that. Having him on tour was great, but it was also kind of really fraught, you said sometimes. And then he moved in, into my, I invited him to move in, um, and, and he finished the film, and, and, and then my wife was helping make the film. So, But it did get very toxic at times, you know. Because I, you're constantly exploring your issues. Yeah, um, so, but I think the, 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 the end result is that we kind of, I understand him better than I ever did, and, and, um, and I'm, I, I've stopped trying to be his older brother, and I'm just his friend and brother, and, and a, we're both adults now, and he's a very different person than I am, and I think, I think we've learned to respect each other, maybe. No? I've re learned to respect well, him, him more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I would say the same thing, yeah. Um, yeah. Do you feel like you learned more about him than you knew going into the film, or more about yourself? going into the film? Well, I certainly learned a lot more about myself and, uh, and maybe, uh, I, you know, I, I learned, I, you know, I, I think, like I said, I, I, this, this film forced me out of some sort of like funk that I was in. I was, I was looking, I, you know, I, and I kind of, I learned a lot about life and a lot about adulthood, kind of in, 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 in becoming an adult. You go, it takes you every direction, and you can't really control it. You just have to go after it and chase it. And like I said, I've always wanted to make movies. I just didn't know I was going to make this movie. Mm -hmm. And now I have, and it's doing pretty well, and it's, I'm the luckiest guy in the world. And, um, you know, I don't know if I'm going to make the next Star Wars movie. Joe is the first fan that I want to bring in. Hey, Joe, how you doing? Hi. Hi, Joe. Joe, you've got a question for the guys. What's your question? Hey, guys. Really love the movie. Um, one of the things I really loved about it was that it added an element of playfulness to, to the, you know, the experience of the national, the music. So I guess, you know, my question is like both Tom in your movie and Matt in the, in the music, like, where do you, how do you find, how do you find a way to put in playfulness with these like heavy topics that you guys both deal with? I think, I mean, um, I mean, it's true. It's like our band is, is known as being depressing and dark and dour and miserable and all the other, uh, you know, things that, that mean, the, mean that. Um, and um, I, I've always thought that we've had, had the, the, our music has had a lot of humor in it and a lot of kind of honest, awkward, truthful humor. Um, and so what's that one song that has, I'll, ha I'll have my head in the oven so you'll know where I'll be? Yeah. That's, <laughs> that's a, a good joke. That's a, yeah, that's a great I joke. Guys, yeah. Nobody, nobody thinks we're funny, though. I, I, I mean, the thing is, we're probably not funny. I went to college and everything as a trombone player. And um, so, you know, every time we get in for a session, it was like, hey, so is this the trombone song?